parents kept neat. Your parents? My grandparents. You knew them? <laughs> I was a young boy, but I knew them. I want you to, to buy a plot for me beside my grandfather. There is no room. Then, uh, as close as possible. I'll have to buy it. You are coming? Mm. I have a few hours to kill. So girlish, uh, uh, I don't, I don't speak it. Uh, I have to live in a minute. I, I, I'm, I'm looking for something for my wife. You have these no, candlesticks no, no, in the no, window. No, I, I have to close up for an hour. I'm going out to pray. So. <laughs> Would you like to come back in an hour? Oh, maybe. Come with me. First visit to Israel. Yeah. It's my first visit. But I've already been here a year. Ich 
soll bleiben in Schluckensach. Die bleibt in die Schluckensach. Verstehst du? Bleib in Schluckensach. Maya, Kim schon. Maya, Kim. Du kannst nicht gehen, weil ich darf da oben da. Oh, Maya. Maya, sei vorsichtig. Kauf die Halle und komm gleich heim. Ui, wart zu. Das ist für die Halle. verloren de geld. Nearly a year is more than a visit. How much longer will be here? One or two more days. Many years. I wish my grandfather could have seen them. <laughs> An army. You know, the saddest thing a friend told me uh, a bunch of your school children, eight years old, they were telling them about the Europe, about the, the Holocaust. 
And one of the kids says, why didn't we send our army? <laughs> why didn't we send our army? Yeah. You can join me or meet me back at the shop. Or... Go away here. Nice in the sun, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, you get old, it's warm. Good place to live. I think so. on the last shot. You collected his money. What the fuck you mean, no dice? You owe me. Fuck off. Hey, no, you owe me. Get them out of here. Ah. Ah. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? You want to fight? I'll fight you. You want to fight? I'll fight you with nothing. Try it on the night. Try it on the fucking night. We'll fight you with nothing. Are you crazy? We run the money. We make the bed, you fucking nuts. Hey, get the fuck out of here. You worked for it. Pick it up. You win the money, Maya. Bunch of kikes. You bunch of shitties. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am, you fucking Nick Penzi. Here I am, you cocksucker. You want to kill me? Here I am. You're crazy. Are you okay? Maya, are you okay? Yeah. Thanks, Benny. Wait in and never fight fair. That's my advice to you. Anything else you figure it out for yourself. What do you mean, never fight fair? Why'd you drop the brick? Don't always go by me. Get your heart beating, don't it? Fighting? Pick up your money. you want to do with this, okay? Whatever brings you pleasure. But never, never gamble, Jacob. Unless it's your game. 
He's still the rising tumult. Hear the game go on. And with a smile of Christian charity, with Casey's this should be a smile of Jewish charity. Oh, no doubt. That's not how a misguided son of a bitch wrote it. Oh, somewhere in this favored land. Oh, somewhere bands are playing and children shout. But there was not joy in Mudville. Hey, it's the kites. Take it all. Take it all off. Show them. Show them where they cut your dick off, you Christ killers. Hey, you're going to pollute the river, you Christ killers. You people killed Christ. My people didn't have time to kill Christ. You know why? Because we've been fucking your mother for 5,000 years. Benny Siegel! <laughs> Why is a Jew like a feather bed? refreshed from his prayers, his prayers have been answered. <laughs> and that's the truth? I found it to be the truth. Even for somebody like me? You know who I am. I also knew who you were in 48. I was with Haganah. I unloaded some of the guns. Rumors, you know? They had come from the docks of New York through the good offices of yourself. <laughs> you think uh, your Supreme Court will remember that in their arguments today? I would hope so. So, let me ask you a question. Please. <sighs> your prayers, they've been answered? Huh? <laughs> it, uh, it works for you. It's not like that. Does it work? But they said, if I rise refreshed, my prayers have been answered. Here we go, come out. Oh, oh hey. Oh. Hey, tough luck, kid. Oh. Sorry about that. Come on. Yeah, don't worry about it. Hey, you. hey, sometimes the rabbit wins, sometimes the dog wins. That's what they call the game. Yeah. Yeah. Tough luck, kid. All right, here we go. No shooter, no shooter. No shooter here. Here we go, here we go. They play your bets now. Let's go. Come on, come on. Here we go. Okay, eight's a point, eight's a point. Ready? Here we go. Run it, run it. Hurry, right, go, 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 So what? Uh, how we do? Doing good. Doing good. Wouldn't we do better with those dice the Irish prick used? It's not how to do. Hey, we don't need them, okay? Benny, you don't understand. You don't need them. Hey, I'm great. Meet you in a corner, 10 minutes. Okay. Ah, good day to you, Mrs. Murphy. Good day. 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 Good
You and your crap game can stay healthy for uh, buck a week. Anybody in the neighborhood fucks with you, you gotta protect the game. You're under Charlie Luciano's wing. It's cheap at a dollar, and uh, first week's due. Hey, fuck you! Oh, what's in your foot? Come on. Hey. I'm gonna uh, stick your protection up your dago ass. Look, you send me players and you'll get a cut of the action. But nothing for nothing. <laughs> Look, steer me players and you'll get a cut of the action. But you'll get nothing for nothing. Let's get it. We'll come back for this he when his mother's tip milk's dry in his face. <laughs> Nothing for nothing, huh? <laughs> Mazel tov. That, I know what that means. Thank you. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Everybody's carrying a gun. People tend to be more polite. Jake Guzik is that sure. You're auctioning off the third leader. Yom Kippur. Who wants to read the Torah? Third leader. One guy, five dollars. Next guy, ten dollars. Next guy, twenty-two dollars to read from the Torah. Twenty-two fifty. Jake handed his jacket. And his jacket like he's going for it. Four hundred and fifty dollars, and I'm coming up. <laughs> I'm coming up. <laughs> okay. Bang, bang, bang. Don't go take this over. Great. Thanks, Benny. My. Expressed by the product of the sum, reduced by the number of years, times the rate of interest, times the formula. That thing tell you what's 100% of four truckloads full of hooch? Bullet to the brain, you dumb fucking Marky. Never told you I was smart, I just told you I was impetuous. <laughs> you didn't have to tell me. Yeah. Three clergymen, they're playing poker. By the way, tomorrow we're going to the bank and I'm going to show you. What the fuck do you mean, what's 100%? You want to fuck with Joe Mazzaria? Just kidding, I'm just kidding. Lord, you can't take a joke for Christ's sake. Not about business. Somebody else with big ideas. Jamie, cover the back. Jamie, in the middle. Thank wants to whack him. Of course Bugs wants to whack him. You go to Bobby, he's gonna tell you you need a haircut. Come on. All right, look. It's a standoff. You kill a few, we kill a few, you don't get the booze. Save it for another day. Today we don't gotta mix it up, all right? Now here's what I say. We save it for another day. All right, we call it a push, no dice. Quarter of the load. I'll give you a quarter of the load. 
I'll give you a truck full. But nobody shoots. All right? We go home, we get laid, we have a drink on Joe Masseria. I'm walking out of here now. But we are going to drive right past you. So whatever this thing is, so be it. I say save it for another day. We'll give him away a quarter of his load. A few more minutes, he's gonna see that four trucks full of empty cases. <laughs> the Yiddish cup, huh? Sicilian balls. Balls of Yiddish too, Charlie. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the rabbi and the priest are playing poker. Knock, knock, knock. Who's that? You fellas are working for Joe Mezzeria, huh? Sit down, please. <clears throat> yeah, we, uh, we go out for him from time to time. Uh-huh. Well, you're not gonna go very far in that organization. What if we sew the end of our dicks back on? That's my point, isn't it? Hmm. You know, those were my people that stopped your trucks. Who would have guessed? What you did on the trucks? I admire your thinking. That's why I did it. I want you to come work for me. But I hear your friend here is a hothead. So first thing, I want you to throw him to the wolves. Done. You turn your back on your lawnsman. For you, Mr. Rothstein? Mr. Rothstein, I'll go home more better. You toss me the dumb, I'll shoot myself. Yeah, he'll shoot himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what I want to hear. I heard... Tell me. What's 154 cases of liquor at $25 a case? 3,850 bucks. See, you took the one... 54 doubled it to 308 and then added the zero and then have the 1540 to 770 and then added it right i divided by four and i tacked on the two zeros huh. if i were to say to you how would you bring liquor into new york what would you say i'd make it here yes talking whiskey real whiskey scotch whiskey what would you do i'd bring about a boatload to long island all right You've been doing your homework. It's good. Now look. No, took a softening dish. Never. You see, never write it down. Keep it in your head. You can't keep it in your head. You can't do business. You sure can't do business with me. And the last thing, which they say, it goes without saying. But you may have noticed that something goes without saying. It just means you said it, so don't skim. Huh? You know the best thing I can say about myself? I always made money. My partners, my associates, always made money. Somebody cut me loose, I cut them loose. That's a punishment enough. That's a punishment enough. In addition to which you iced them. They say violence never settled anything. Never settled anything, but it sure changed the subject, didn't it? I'll tell you what. Empires I'm not interested in. The people who work for me also work with me. We all prosper. Huh? You want to spread your wings a little bit with other deals? Fine. Just so that it's not with Masseria or Maranzano. But out of town, be my guest. Just never confuse your position with your best interest. Because sometimes the best way to protect your best interests, many times, is to give up your position. 
I don't understand. You're a twist down, huh? You want to get them on their backs. Sometimes the best way is to open the door for them. Hmm? What does it cost you? Nothing. Nothing. That's right. Sometimes you cut your losses. Sometimes you take a small loss to make a large gain. Your employer, Mr. Masseria, talks about saving face. I care about making money. Not the court. This is Zev Bendov. It's the American Embassy. I'll inform my client. Washington has pulled your passport. What does that mean? Myra, that if the court votes against you and you gotta leave, the only country you can travel to is the U.S. Nowhere else. If you can find a country that'll take you as a refugee, grant you asylum. Well, you know what it is. It's Nixon. It's John Mitchell. It's the degenerated, corrupt old woman on the FBI. And uh, I'll tell you what it is. It's, it's those damn attack jets. The Knesset is afraid. They don't give in. The U.S. don't send jets. <laughs> That's what the hell it is. We haven't lost yet. <laughs> haven't lost yet. <laughs> Been an odds maker my whole life. Just lost my passport. I'm gonna get thrown out. You tell me. For what? <clears throat> Bronfman. Ran booze. He's a national hero. <laughs> Joe Kennedy, shoot him up with liquor. He's clean. Nixon, he's got burglars working for him. You kidding me? I'm gonna get tickets. There are half a dozen plays opening this October that you'll just love. Mm. Fanny Bryce. She's gonna be in this thing called Sweet and Low. Mm, good. She's always good. Mm. Anna? Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Delicious, Anna. Thank you, Maya. You'll be sure to be here if I get the tickets? Yeah. You make a point of it, right, Maya? Yeah, yeah. Of course. I'm doing my best. Take long. Finally, you're here for what is this? Finally, you're here for a meal. An hour or two at most, all right? One for cocktail meal. You can't stay long enough to finish your plate, Maya. Maya. Oh, I'm married to Dr. Lansky. Are you a surgeon? We you get called away in the middle of dinner. Maya. Ago in the Park Central Hotel, Arnold Rothstein, the man who fixed the 1919 World Series, was gunned down. Rothstein died en route to St. Clair Hospital. Over a poker hand? Over a fucking poker hand? Gambling, Mr. Guys. I already heard from Aranzano. He wants me to come in with him. First your face, then your throat. And Masseria? Yeah, I heard from him, too. He wants me to come in with him. Devil of the deep blue sea. Each of these fucking guys got a ring this big, you got a kiss. How's the crap tables doing? Yeah, they're doing good. They're doing good. You know, I read where General Electric will sell 800,000 Frigidaires this year. Woolworths, they got 1,100 stores. 1,100. Americans will spend money when given the opportunity. We have a total of 14 crab tables in operation. 
Woolworths and General Electric are nationwide, Charlie. Nationwide. That's the key. No more 48 states. It's going to be one big country. These two old grease balls out of the way. Like if they're dead? Masseria, I could set up. That'd be walking the sun. But Maranzano, forget about him. I mean, there's no watch can get close to him. Not a problem. I have to plan these two carefully. We'll have a division of labor. Not such a bad way to start a thing. Nationwide combination of money makers. The board of directors like GE or Woolworths. Directors who vote. Directors who vote. Happened out here. Ground floor. Good Revenue Service, we have a warrant here to examine the records of South Lake Forest, Maranzano. Christ sakes, two weeks ago you guys. The following records, ago. please, sir. Police. Uh, what the hell is this? Internal Revenue Service. Again? For the love of God. Mr. Salvatore Maranzano. You know what the harassment is? Will you please step inside your office, please, sir? Charlie Lucky. You happy, Maya? You happy? Are you happy? You got the flowers? <gasps> no. I got them. Yeah. Did you see them? Still with the doctors. They're gonna bring them up soon. Your coat. Nobody will steal it, Maya. Yeah, it's okay. I'll keep it on. You're going out of town again. What? Yes. Anna, you know I have to go out of town. And stay here for the least. You know, I wonder why we even had Don't that. talk like that, Anna. All right? What kind of a life do you expect me to lead when all the time you're going out of... Where is he? We are doing a few more tests. 
therapist? It's not just a month premature. The boy is uh, crippled. What? We're not sure yet. I mean, oh my God. <laughs> from God! From God! Look at us! Oh, all right, all right, easy, easy. Oh, God! Oh, God! Easy. Make us into fire! Fire! Oh, God! No! 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 telling you, you should be screaming. <laughs> Every jid on earth. <laughs> because if the law of return is not meant for me, it's not meant for you. Huh? If Israel isn't just uh, an amusement park for uh, American Jews. <laughs> what have you done for your country, Mr. Lansky? Are you... Do you consider yourself an American first or a Jew first? You ever hear that question? Because the answer is not, what business is it of yours? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's three bags full, and uh, you better be bending down to kiss their ring. <laughs> <sighs> Keith over. <laughs> you kidding me? The shit that man did? The money he took? Huh? And he drags me into that... And he asks me, what did I do for my country? Joe Kennedy, 39 ready to, to sell England to Hitler. <laughs> to Hitler. <laughs> they pull my passport and ask me what I did for my country. <laughs> what I did, huh? Maybe they'll rule in your favor. Don't tell me how. Could bad news be good news here? Hmm? Could the court put me out of the country knowing... <laughs> Don't tell me how they're going to rule. I know how they're going to rule. So do you. So don't tell me. Hello. What's up? Sit down. No word. You a Jew first. An American first. If you ask the question, that's the answer you want. <laughs> what have I done for my country? <laughs> Last item on the agenda. Detroit. Oh. 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 What the fuck is it now with Detroit? It's like, like a crew of delinquents out there. It's another goddamn air raid drill. This time it's a beef with Philadelphia counterfeit gas ration stamps. The rally cannot push in the Philadelphia mile. It'll take care of itself. Who wants to touch counterfeit stamps anyway? Blood money. Big dollars. We should be in a heavier right here. This is a war. I know whose side I'm on. And Charlie? I speak for Charlie on this. How's he doing? How's he doing? How's he doing? How would you be doing 30 to 50 in Danamora? your involvement revealed until after the war. I'm not sure I want it revealed at all. <laughs> well, you never know when you might need a friend. I appreciate that. And uh, on the subject, 
My friend, Mr. Luciano. Yes. A pardon is, of course, out of the question. <laughs> but you didn't come to the table empty-handed. After quid pro, there's a quo. Time. Still chasing coups. Everybody needs a hobby. Huh. What's it all about? It's about Sicily, Charlie. We're going to invade Sicily. Our intelligence guys want to connect with what they call the people who really run Sicily. A parachute doesn't bother this dog at all. To build Nevada in the desert for Christ's sake. Cost what it costs. Yeah, what does it cost? I mean, numbers mean nothing to the man. Cost what it cost. What is he setting fire to the money? He's building. He's had some reverse. You ever built a house? <laughs> a building? You have some reverse. Do you stand behind him? Because I stand behind him. It's not him. It's him and all of us. A full-fledged member of the Alpine Rescue Squad. And now, the latest footage of the landing in Sicily. Aided by the extraordinary cooperation of the populace, the Allied advance continues to push forward into enemy territory. Give us your tired and your poor, huh? Yeah, that's what they say. This way, Miss Lansky. Where's Bugs? He's coming separately. Uh, what, he's busy? No, he's coming in from the west. Uh, I think he'll make it and I talk to him. <laughs> what did he say? Two things. Uh, you don't make it, said to say goodbye, Charlie. Mm. And uh, the party, someone other than me picks the broads. <laughs> <laughs> what did you bring me for my grand excursion? What you cannot get in Sicily. Mm. I give you to take with you. This guy, this guy. This <laughs> bunker said he could take it back to Iraq with goat side. Yeah. Yeah. You do the rest of my bet. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I want to propose something. I want to propose a toast. We've been together a long time. And we've seen a lot of things together. And all I can say is, this guy! <laughs> Salud! says three mil, and then he says, well, maybe we're looking at four, he, maybe. He says it takes 12 months plus. Hey, it could take as much as... Yeah, 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 yeah. The thing, the thing, the thing is never what does it cost, but 
What does it make? Huh? What does it make? Now, the cost we can lay off on the international, uh, the teams to up to a point, up to a point, at which they start screaming, kill somebody, hold on, hold on. kill somebody for me, and I don't no, no, care. No, no, look, look, yeah, 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 look, I give you my word, we, we, we get these hotels open, they're gonna erect the statue to this guy. Where is it? Benjamin Siegel, one of the few men history of the world creates something out of nothing. Who remembers the name of this broad Bugsy was born and worked in a bank? Which broad? Back. After the war. The guys were making too much money. Take it out of the mattress. Leave it. Put it in a bank. Oh, get down to the bank. Benny takes a look around. Fuck me. Ooh. I ain't putting my dough in here. It's a shoebox. Hey, turn on the hills. Sun goes down. Sun comes up. Bang. Hankies around the faces. Back to the bank. Stick them up. Benny goes in a vault. There's a twist. She's up on a ladder. He's looking right up. I'm waiting for him. Come out with the gas. I look in. Ah. Long story short, it's a fair and a heart. He is seeing this broad until he leaves Cleveland. We used to call his night deposit. <laughs> talk of the devil? Never talk of the fucking devil. You don't know who'd be listening. <laughs> My profound regrets. Oh. Maya. So, what happened to this frickin' party, huh? Hey, Benny. You know, hey, how doing? you doing? <laughs> Charlie, this is Virginia Hill. Charlie, Meyer. Joey A., I believe you two know each other. <clears throat> so. Why am I late? I'm just off of the plane. Where have I come from? Las Vegas. And how are things there? Just how, how are things, things there? there? You don't want to talk business. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. Yeah. You want to talk business? Yeah. Even though the guy is going away to Camp Vafangu? <laughs> All right. Charlie, I brought something for you. All right. I'm flying out of the desert. Stop at a gas station. Middle of nowhere, huh? Gas station. Slot machine. New sign, proud lettering. New sign on the slot machine. Greater pay means longer play. I'll tell you that again. Greater pay means longer play. You gotta have something to do on that fucking island. <laughs> <laughs> the sign is advertising. You will go broke. You will go broke, that's what it means. Longer play. Longer to what? Till you go broke. The frickin' sign is advertising what they all know to be true. That the machine will take all your money. And you know it, and I know it, and you're gonna play anyway. And the people are gonna play anyway. And you know they are, and this is why. I know it like I know my own name. This is gonna be bigger than booze. It's going to be bigger than broads. Las Vegas. Yes, it will. This, mind you, is the biggest thing there is. Why? Because everybody does it. <laughs> Seems like an unconscionable length of time to wait to begin construction. But as they say, measure twice and cut once. A week. Yeah, we care, we dare. But when we're all rich, why are you wearing brown shoes, huh? <laughs> what did he expect, a fair fight? <laughs> Who wants to get involved in a fair fight? Was there no one we could have paid? Somebody had to be for sale. I wouldn't have done it, Meyer. <laughs> How did I get involved in a fair fight? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> I'm some chump gonna say, I did this, I did that. Uh, I checked box B. How could they deny me? Meyer, how can they deny you? They can deny me because they can. And they will, and who are we kidding? Because they, they pass-posted me. 
It's done. It's done. It isn't done, Maya. The court. It's not the court. It's not the Knesset. It's the G. It's the G. It's the government. Huh? You cut the phone lines to the United States Justice Department, and I get my Israeli citizenship tomorrow. There was no mafia. What was it? It must have been the Jews. It was the Jews. That's who it must have been. And if it was the Jews, it must have been me. <laughs> what am I demeaning myself? <sighs> and I'll tell you, one country is like another. What do you think of that? Two guys walking down the street. Walking towards them, here comes Joe. Joe crosses the street, he shies away. One guy says to the other guy, I don't know why Joe's avoiding me. I haven't done anything for him lately. <laughs> the shit we did. You know how much armament we put through the Brooklyn Pier 48? Do you know? Nah, you don't know. They know. The law of return. Every Jew on earth has a homeland to come to. Zion. He used to say, nobody loves the Jews. Charlie loved the Jews. He used to think he had a pinto <laughs> Ah, you know what? Forget about it. Where are we going? It's not over here yet. Yeah. Where are we going? Yeah, if I go home, Meyer, Zeb will call you the minute he hears from the court. Four bedrooms. A lovely little house, the real estate woman called it. In the German sector. And she was right. Lovely. Paul called. And Buddy and Sandra. They all want to come next week. I hope you told them to wait until... So we're moved in and settled. Four bedrooms, Maya. Room. You should have waited until... There is a law of return, Maya. Not a policy. A law. They won't put it. Mr. Lansky, could you please give me a comment on your expulsion from Israel? Mr. Lansky was not expelled his tourist visa. But surely you expected a man with, uh, with narcotic charges, with drug charges. I beg your pardon. Charges, I beg your pardon. My husband was harassed by the U.S. Department of... My husband had a bio. Excuse me. Of Donatol, which is an antacid. You understand? Uh -huh. He had his officer. An antacid. And we were detained. We were searched. We were questioned. And... How does it feel as a Jew? Mr. Lansky is not inclined, as you might imagine, to answer any further questions at this time. As a Jew! Second War, three Jews meet in the DP camp, discuss plans for uh, where they'll go. First Jew says, I'm gonna settle in England. Second Jew says, uh-huh, I'm going to Canada. Third Jew says, I'm going to Australia. First Jew says, isn't that a long way? Third Jew says, from where? <laughs> 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 From where?
Paul, your father's in the study. In just a few minutes. Come here. File of books like that, you're gonna go blind. That's something else. Fresh milk. Where do you get it from? All right, now, where was I, Evelyn? Uh, the plants and the dog, right? Hold the mail. Maya. You tell him, you say to the guy... Oh, your father's waiting. You have a grave responsibility, of course you do. You have the worries not only of your office, so on, but of being re-elected to that office. You're under a lot of pressure. Now, we have legitimate interests, not only in Hallandale, but in the development of Florida, as do you. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. It's goodbye, huh? Have a good time. I will. Uh, if you, uh... You take good care of things here. So, uh, when do we hear from the point? Dad, we aren't gonna hear for two weeks. Well, you let me know. You got my itinerary. Yeah. You let me know the moment you know. I will. Okay. You'll be good. Nice kid. He's a hell of a kid. Is he gonna get in? Uh, Kinahara, Jewish quota up there is this big. Where are we? Kindergarten. Uh, all right, um, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, legal fees. So to protect my interest... Hey. I was staying home, and I had the time I'd go down there. But as I'm not, you're going, so pay attention, because you mucked this up. How high we going? I would say uh, we get this guy f 20. Go as high as 50K. Hmm? If he wants higher, let's discuss it. Guys, here, Maya. Goodbye, Dad. All right, let's get going. Take care of yourself, buddy. Thank you, Jackie. Oh, Federal Bureau of Investigation. You Meyer Lansky? Drugs. Well, as I told you, there aren't any drugs. That's Donatol. That's a prescription antacid. And if you find anything else, I'll tell you what. You put it there. You people. You've been watching me so close, so long. You know I don't touch a goddamn... I'm a gambler. I'm a gambler, Pally. <laughs> I'm a common gambler. Then why are we here, sir? Oh, isn't that smart? What happened to uh, uh, innocent until proven? Huh? Why are you here? You're here because of uh, the same, uh, uh, self-same reason that you go anywhere to get publicity. <laughs> you get publicity. It's good copy, interviewing Maya Lansky. The hell do you think you are, son? Who the hell do you think you work for, huh? I came here with nothing. I, 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 I served my country. <laughs> I got a son who's going to West Point. What about you? Huh? You, what do you do, son? You just tore up my home in front of my wife. You tore up our home. I know you think you're right. I know. You think you're safe in your, uh, in your job, in your little niche that you found for yourself, uh, serving your master. You're not safe. Nobody's safe. Nobody is safe. Your son will never go to West Point. Look, we 
to deal with his business about Benny. Hey, you know how Benny is, Charlie. Come on. You know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. It's cum. It's only in his balls is not what I mean. It's in his body, you see. It's in his body up to here, up to here all the time. He can't see. It's over his eyes. So he comes, it goes down. So the guy can see out 10, 15 minutes till it builds back up. And he's blind again. Hey, everybody got his faults. Charlie. Charming transgression on Mont Street in Detroit, huh? We go on the line, and that's supposed to be one, two. Now he's cresting at $8 million. Listen, I know. What can I tell you? I'm afraid there's nothing you can tell me. Don't say that. I'm afraid I gotta Don't say Don't say it. that, Charlie. The council. The council, yeah, the council. What? In addition, you heard it. They got this broad Virginia running Switzerland two times a month, this vanity case. You tell me. You tell me, Mike. What's in the case? What would you do? You think I like it? The Flamingo Hotel. It's going to be a gold mine. It opened to nothing. What did it, what did it do? The first week you lost. It's going to be a gold mine. You're going to sit around this table and you're going to bless the day that Benny took us Lost out. Lost 200,000 on top of it. In my hand to God, it's, gonna, it's coming. So is Jesus, but I'm not holding I vote. And you all know how I'm going to vote. With all respect, hold and on. I mean hold it to my eyes. I'm being hasty, Meyer, but it was somebody else. I'm well aware of that. And we have reports of this girl flying to where? Switzerland, Meyer? He right. tells me, me, it costs $7 million. What do you want me to do? Tear down the walls? Find the builder? What builder ever met the specs? It's, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. You tell me what justifies another day of this. If you say it, I'm listening. You say it's a tiger by the tail. You grab on, you gotta hold on, you can't let go. But I say, you see, you gotta let go sometime. Bite the bullet. Let go now. I move. Don't call a vote. I'm pleading with you. <sighs> let me talk to him first. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand opening of the fabulous Flamingo Hotel and Casino. I'm your master of ceremonies, Eddie Shum, and I'd like to introduce my piano player, Art Henderthal, here. Art, good to see you. Did I tell you, I saw my ex-wife today, Art. <laughs> what the heck was her name again? Oh, yeah, plaintiff. <laughs> hey, don't go away, folks. Coming right up in just a minute, those beautiful gals from the Cherokee Strip, the Pocahontas Twins. So drink up. The party's just getting started here at the fabulous Flamingo Hotel and Casino. Where everybody has a good time, including me. Welcome back, Mr. Steve. Get it up! Turn it into Utah. Plenty of room to grow. What do you think? Where you been? Where I've been? I've been away. Uh, I've been to Mexico. What is it down there? 
See the ponies run. So now what would have been cheaper, that or a doorknob? Well, no, a doorknob would have been cheaper, but the question is, are we getting a bang for the buck? That's what I Question's think. Question's gone beyond that. Uh-huh. So, you have a good time at a class picnic? That's what I'm saying. Well, look. They give me some time. You got a month to turn it around. You little son of a bitch, you. You had better look when every passing day. Ah, you Lothario, you. Listen to me, Ben. This guy, the Chic Avenue B. Who says Jews can't tap dance? Enough, enough with the tumult. You know what's at stake here. She's carrying a lot of sail. And what would you know, you're fucking Puritan. You know, I think you're a switch, baby. Please, stop. Maya, look at this. Look. Buried up there is a three-foot-deep steel gird. I can't believe it. Had to be rolled special in a mill in Indiana. Two months of lead time. I built this place, Maya. This is mine. Doesn't give you a license to steal. Maya. This is business, Ben. Make an appearance. Make a personal appearance. Assure us there'll be a change. Assure us Virginia's not gonna... No more quick flights to Europe. Give us a reason to vote the right way. What Good morning, I want... Mr. Siegel. Good morning. One month. One month? What are these guys turn into all of a sudden? The bank? distribuyendo tarjetas de inmigración que el gobierno de Paraguay requiere de todos los pasajeros, aunque no vayan a desembarcar. I am now going to be passing out immigration forms, which the government of Paraguay requires from every passenger, whether or not they deplane. El problema con el pasaporte es que... The problem with the passport. This passport As has I been said. My client, Mr. Lansky, is seeking asylum in your country. Asylum for the reasons that I have spelled out in and I'm sure that when we, if you will forgive me, reach the level sufficiently high to allow. What does your client do? What? It's a simple question. It is a simple question. Don't tell me it's a simple question. <laughs> if it was, please. Oh, please. Question. The teacher, Would it, be? it is not. The teacher said, hey, will you? It is not the teacher I have issue with. The boy is being hazed at school. Maya, he's being hazed you at think school. That's remarkable. <laughs> he's being hazed, huh? What is this? You've been reading a book. <laughs> Uh, that's what's happened. What? What do you want to do tonight? Buddy. You excuse me a minute. Hey, Dad. You going tonight? Yeah, I'm going for a trip. Where are you going? You know, I'm going to several places uh, on business. You know, let me tell you something. People dislike what they do not understand. What do you think about that?
I was a kid. I saw things, which I won't bore you with, which were upsetting. Now, and I'll tell you how I feel about that. You don't have to give it magical significance. You see things happen to upset you, you can look at them, you can look at them and say, that happened. Or you know what? You can look at them and say, that happened and I'm still here. And here I am. Now, it's in the past. Now, people say things about your father, your family. <laughs> Be advised, this happens all over the world. People don't like you because you're a Jew, you're, you're a Catholic, or, uh, it doesn't make any difference. That's part of life. Now, what's upsetting you is Maybe they're right. Your father is a businessman. That's what I do. Now, it happens that I am involved, among in other things, and this is just for your benefit, because the family's finances are nobody else's concern in real estate, in hotels, in entertainment. People dislike what they do not understand. They dislike what they envy. So, sometimes you're just gonna have to shrug and say, so be it. Arrest record. Arrest record? Can, can we start at the beginning? Let us assume. Can you conceive of a case wherein, senor? No, no, I'm not saying this case. I am saying, let me describe a case to you. And you tell me, and you tell me, is it conceivable such a case would exist? A man was persecuted by his government. Persecuted. Senor, not my client. Not my client. Let us say someone. Some government. Some government. A man with a grudge <laughs> develops a vendetta against a citizen. And that citizen, am I saying that he's perfect? No. But I am the saying... The connection between, between business, politics, and what we have come to know as organized crime. My client, Mr. Senator, my client has... Your never... client has admitted, admitted, Mr. Polikoff, Knowing, knowing, and consorting with. If you check your record, sir, you will not find the word admission, as you called it, of consorting with any and people. And consorting knowing. with Frank Costello, Adnus Willman, Charles Luciano, who seems he has just returned from visiting with. You use the loaded word consorting, Senator. If I may remind you that... If you may. How, how, Mr. Polikoff, I ask you. A respected member of the bar. A light of the legal profession. I ask you. How can you, and I will speak of consorting, how can you consort with men such as this? To defend Luciano? To defend this? Yes, yes, sir. What word was it you wanted to use, Senator? This undesirable. You know, Senator, you're undesirable. Your persons of, if I may, low reputation are just as entitled to representation as any honorable person. You know, I don't have to apologize to you, sir. Oh, you amaze me, sir. And you amaze me, sir. Have you read the Constitution? I read the Constitution. Don't tell me about the Constitution. Gentlemen. 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 Drink? No, thank you. You know, Senator, during the war, my client... Oh, I know all about what you did in the war. No, I, I know I all about... I ask you it. something? Sure. What's so bad about gambling? You like to gamble. Like it quite a bit, I'm told. Well, you know, I may like this and I may like that. But I don't want you people to control me. Well, maybe you're confused. Maybe you confuse me with uh, this or that Jew who comes in here and begs you to let him share the trough with you. Is that the case? 
I don't take your meaning. Oh, well, uh, no, you, you said uh, you people. I assume you meant the Jews. I did not mean the Jews. I beg your pardon. Who did you mean, then? I, I meant someone as famous as you... I understand how pleased you get. Someone to pick on, huh? Get the Jew. You're fooling no one, mister. But you have chosen the wrong man. Is that so? Chosen the wrong man. What got your son into West Point? No. What, what, what got I you into your, your house? Your, I will your, get into that listen. in front of the oh, committee yeah. if I were you. Don't tell me what is and is not allowed. And that gambling is the linchpin of the organized crime of this country. And that all their gambling operations are controlled by this man. That it is tied to loan sharking. That it funds prostitution and drugs. Senator, there's if no... I may. And the subornation <laughs> of elected officials. Now, Mr. Lansky, for example, would you tell us how in the world you have cannot... How have you gotten your son into West Point? Senator, I strongly object in? to the introduction of... Would you share with us the source of your ability to manipulate, to, to control... Holds off. So how bad is that? Two percent. Over what? Over the last week. Uh, we would say that's what? What? We would say that's attributable to what? How are you doing? How am I doing? I'm doing like the joint is doing, Jake. Hello. Hell of a thing. The United States of America versus Meyer Lansky, Jake Lansky et al. You are hereby ordered to appear gambling, forgery, conspiracy operating. They got us down for everything except sinking the Normandy. Hell of a thing. You know, it's the... After all, the, uh, it's the goddamn predictability of the whole thing, isn't it? Maya, Maya. Ich kenne den Schappen mit deiner Schreude. Darfst du wissen, dass sie wollen, kein Mut nicht zu blossen, bis sie wollen, etwas bei dir gefunden. Ja, ein schwarzer Jahr an der Konstitution.
The captain has advised me that we will be landing in Panama City in approximately 20 minutes. Please have your passports ready and remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete stop. Oh, worst comes to worst, you stay down here. It's hot. It's not hot in Miami. Well, the thing is, what's it gonna take? You got a spare million, Maya? <clears throat> if I had one-tenth the money they think I have, <clears throat> if I had one-tenth the money I should, they'd be rolling out the red carpet. You had a spare million? Gonna sue people. Castro for it? <laughs> Gonna sue Castro for my money? Look at look, look, look. The feds have the hats for you, Maya. They aren't gonna go away. You want to be the old wolf, keep everyone at bay, and the person starts to lose a step. It's human nature. You know, I, I, uh, I don't feel so good. What can I do? Uh, when we get down, we'll find a place. I'll lie down. Why don't, why don't know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not feeling good. Yeah. Did you take your pill? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. in love. Is that the thing? Hey. What happened to they're all like robots, <laughs> turn them over, they're all the same. I'm in love. Hell of a note. I am Hey, in don't love. nudge me. I'm doing it for you. Am I doing it for you? Hey, what don't I do? <laughs> Who's my lance, man? Couldn't think of a better way to spend your time. I'm in love. What about Joey A? Good evening, sir. Thanks for coming. Such short notice. Who are you? I'm a friend of a friend who asked me to see you about a matter which concerns him and uh, a certain young woman. Virginia Hill. That's not necessary. A certain past. And my friend wants to know your intentions towards her. I... I... I don't get you. If your intentions are marriage, my friend is going to give you his blessings. Marriage? Marriage? If your intentions are marriage, he's going to give you his goodwill. I, uh, look, look, I, I don't uh, want to... Hey, let's not waste time, okay? You're a very busy man. <laughs> Give me a pipe with a long enough stem and I'm gonna blow smoke up my own ass. <laughs> but uh, don't make me sit here and tell me you don't know. What don't you know? My friend is a friend to this person. You are going to treat her right. Treat her right. If your intentions are otherwise, I can't help you. I'm just a messenger. You've had the message. <clears throat> I think we're done here. for you, pal. That's Virginia Hill. Believe she's spoken for. Is that so? Switzerland. Every two weeks, her vanity case. We don't even know what's in it. Let's cut the bullshit, Maya. What's in it is money. And where does the money come from? 
the flamingo. And our friend has gone so off the deep end that don't talk to me about loyalty. Because his loyalty is... What is he doing without $8 million for a $4 million hotel, which at that price is obscene? And don't tell me, uh, statue in the desert, Maya, because I know how far you go back. We go back. We go back to square one. What would we do if that weren't the case, Maya? Would we be having this meeting? Would we be having this meeting? I don't think so. Maya, can we get a sense of this thing? Can we get a vote? I say we vote right now. Huh? I'm sorry, Maya. Vote. All right. I'm going to ask for a vote on this thing. Welcome to Panama. Mark, I can get that for you. No, no, what am I, an old man? So, Panama. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Uh, oh, you yeah, wandering Jew. You know what my father used to say? The hill people and the valley people. Hill people and valley people always hate each other. Way of the world. Way of the hill people. Is that where we are? That's right. Conditions are tough. Have to find an easy way. Huh? Nomads. Come down to the valley. Uh, what do these hill people want with us? <laughs> home is a sailor, home from the sea. What's that? It's a poem. And the hunter, home from the hill. Home from the hill, that's what I'm talking about. So, uh, how's your Panamanian? They speak Spanish. So, how's your Spanish? Spanish. I'll learn. I'm Maya Lansky. I'm the principal owner of the Riviera Hotel. We know who you are. Dile gringo que la Riviera va a ser nacionalizado. The Riviera will be nationalized. We don't do business with gangsters. Go home. You have 24 hours to get out of Cuba. Maya Lansky, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Stay on the plane, please. You too, ma'am. You will not be allowed to enter Panama. Excuse me? We have a warrant for your arrest and an order of extradition from the United States government, so please sit down and remain in your seats until we arrive in Miami. Welcome home. Lansky! Mr. Lansky! Why don't you shut up and, and go try to solve the real problem? Oh, I think it's useless to legitimate questions. You are not legitimate. You are illegitimate. That's when you, you don't even know what your mother and father should damn fool ship. Hey, 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 hey. Mr. Lansky, you are charged with criminal contempt. Uh, which subpoena information regarding ownership of the Flamingo Hotel, income tax evasion, Your Honor, failure to pay taxes, Your Honor, and the amount let the record to pay federal income tax. The can amount we, let the record show the use of the word alleged in connection with the phrase ownership of the Flamingo Hotel. I'll thank you. Thank you. I don't believe I used the word alleged, but if you'll allow me to control these proceedings, I think you'll find we'll all be out of here as expeditiously as possible. Can, can we help here? We need some help here. So. What happened? <coughs> what happened? 
Got to have to talk to the heavyweights. I'm just the help. You're a bad man, huh? Is that the thing? Well, you got a cop at the door. Hmm. This is going to relax you. I'll tell you a secret. <coughs> I'll tell you a secret. Referring, sir, to Benjamin Siegel. He was a rat, wasn't he? A what? Rat. R-A-T. I wouldn't know. Well, he got what was coming to him, didn't he? It was a good thing, wasn't it? I... I wouldn't comment on Switzerland. Every two weeks, for a vanity case. This is a simple procedure, one we do many times every week. And I'm going to put this mask on. I think you got the wrong... What? You got the wrong guy. Already? You have a trusted journalist. You know what off the record means? It means fuck you. <laughs> Guy said one time, he said, uh, we were in, a, in some dive fight brewing. One guy says, oh yeah, fuck you. And the other guy says, you never thought about it quite that way. And uh, who was that guy? Ah, uh, just some fella. You know. You know. And what do you remember most? Well, my memory is conveniently fading. As you get older, it's not that things disappear, it's that uh, they get reordered according to a different order of uh, understanding. Now, you see, like a lot of things, you wait around, you get the answer. Huh? Tongue sandwich on rye, get the rye bread burnt. Hey, Mr. L, 
Who do we like, huh? Who do we like? Why should I tell you? Because I ask. Texas A&M. Give the points. How can I thank you? <laughs> this afternoon, huh? Yeah. It's a history. You see, the whole thing is a history. What are you gonna do? You come here, Italians, the Jews, the blacks, one pot. What the Italians used to call Giamborta, a stew. And people go this way, people go that way. A little time passes, dust settles, and then it becomes over and done with. You once said, we're bigger than you are steel. Did I say that? I know I was quoted as saying that. Bigger than U.S. Steel. Who was I speaking of? The, uh, the combination. Combination, huh? Was there a combination? Black Hand? Syndicate? Huh. Hoover said uh, none of it was real. Man was in a position to know. Yeah, he left you uh, unmolested for the longest time. I'm sorry, what? Wait, Hoover. He left you alone. Oh. Well, uh, he left everyone alone. He said there was no uh, organized crime. No mafia. It was a bigger payoff in the, in the commie thing. He was a gambler. Did you know that? <laughs> the ponies. Frank, uh, Frank Erickson used to call from New Orleans. Give Frank Costello the, the, the short thing of the day. Maybe Pimlico, maybe Bowie. Not the best bet, but the, the F-I-X sure thing. And uh, Costello would call Walter Winchell. Winchell would give it to Hoover. Hoover would bet a few hundred. Huh? I bet none of those commies he was locking up were giving him short things, huh? Then, uh, Appalachia. Huh? Well, a lot of guys with, uh, vowels in their names, limousines, doing something up there in the woods that, uh, <laughs> certainly attract a lot of attention. <laughs> yeah, Hoover, uh, he, he called it, uh, Cousin Ostra said that the FBI uncovered it, penetrated it. But, uh, for the longest time, uh, the FBI treated you with... Well, perhaps, uh, Hoover did not think me, uh, worthy of his notice. Because, you see, <laughs> because my role in the whole thing has been magnified at all. Because the time came when it suited his purposes. And I'll tell you why. Yes. You know why. Because I'm a Jew. <laughs> Hoover needed, mind you, the man died in 72. All the charges against me were dropped by, by 1976. <laughs> the man needed someone non-Italian if the mafia didn't exist. So they, they, uh, they picked, uh, look, I'm a gambler, nothing more. That's what I am. That's what I always was. Essentially an odds maker for a pastime that people will do what you will always engage in. You said uh, uh, bigger than, uh, than U.S. Steel, but yes. we were bigger than... Let me tell you something. People will always gamble. So now you see the governments. Huh? The lottery. The numbers pays off 600 to 1. State lottery now? Get into the business? Suddenly, oh, uh, gambling isn't so bad. They pay 500 to 1. And I'll tell you, by the turn of the century, the government, you watch, and you'll have to watch because I won't be there. The government will be running not only gambling. Gambling? Prostitution? Drugs. Why? Because that's what.
where the money is. That's where the money is. Do you believe that? Sore throat, chicken soup. I'd like to talk to you for a moment about uh, violence. You're a soldier. You were in the wars. Of course. Do you talk about it? <laughs> the... The Cossacks are coming. You can run. Maybe you can get away. You can hide. Maybe they won't find you. You can fight. Maybe you'll win. You do what you have to do at the time by the best lights that you have. And it's your own personality. Your own character that... <laughs> you see, environment... A little bit, yes, but at an early age, an early age, who you are is who you are. And that's everyone. You want some more coffee? Mm. You know, you ask someone who's in the jailhouse for his story, you get the jailhouse story. Murray stole, Carmine stole, but I never stole. Bob killed and Mikey killed, but I, I never killed him. It's the jailhouse tale. You ever worry? Ah, you show me somebody who profited from it, I'll be glad to do it. So what would you do if you could do it over again? What would you do differently? What would I do? What would I do? What would I do differently? I wouldn't change a thing. There you go, sir.